In this video I'll give you a short demonstration on how the free Dakota toolkit can be used together with cases. This makes cases a convenient graphical use interface for Dakota to couple external software such as meshing and CFD and automates the process so that you can carry out sensitivity analysis and optimizations. For this purpose I'll start with a simple test function that I've set up in cases. Basically this is a multi-objective function with two evaluations and two variables and I want to run a Latin hypercube sampling that will be controlled by Dakota. There are also two inequality constraints and this project includes a design engine already which is a genetic algorithm that comes with cases. This design engine is not from Dakota, so in the next step we want to add the Dakota engine to this project. The new Dakota engine takes over the setup from the previous engine and we can give it a name that will be used for the upcoming design variants. You can choose from a list of different methods and strategies that we have prepared on the basis of the Dakota portfolio and we want to run the study with 50 samples. The design variables as well as the evaluations and the constraints are ready. So we simply start our new engine. What you can see is that the designs get created by Dakota and we manage everything in the cases user interface now. Let's take a close look again in order to better understand what's actually going on. We make use of the Dakota template files. When you click on the icon next to your method choice, you can see the Dakota input file, the one that tells Dakota which method to take and so on. So this is the entire configuration for Dakota. The values from the user interface are written into this template. So for instance, the number of samples can be changed in the design engine and gets automatically updated in the template. One very nice feature of this template mechanism is that we enabled our users to fully customize the user interface of the design engine in cases. You can decide which Dakota inputs are visible in the user interface. Following a simple convention, the keyword of interest is tagged along with a default value, a label and some documentation. The keyword documentation is shown right next to the attribute. Simply click on the icon. In order to change the default value of a template, just change the value and refresh the user interface so that the new template gets loaded and the new value is visible. Our predefined Dakota templates are located in the installation directory of cases and they can serve as a reference if you would like to set up your own ones. There are also cases specific keywords in the template so that cases can enter the information about the design variables and their bounds as well as needed information about the responses automatically. Your customized templates can then be simply chosen from a file directory. I also want to give you an idea of our charts and diagrams for which I use a simple project where an external tool is coupled to cases. Basically, values are varied and written into a file for each design and result values from the external tool are read in again into cases. Once again, we run the sensitivity analysis And now you can click on this chart button in order to visualize the current run in a typical chart view. While the design engine is still running, these charts get updated after each design evaluation. These charts come with some relevant configuration options, so for instance you can change the size of the charts. For a study like this, positive and negative correlations between the variables and the responses 
are calculated and colored according to the strength of the correlation. You can configure what is shown in the charts and you can also switch off and on the correlations and regression curves. The entire data management is done by cases, so you can browse through the design variants and you have all the design information directly available. When you click on a design in the charts, it gets also selected and you can have a look at the design information. When you double click on a specific design, this variant gets activated and you can jump into all the details of this design. Usually cases users have their geometry set up in here so they can check out the current shape details and so forth. 